So expect things to be breezy and just needing to stay weather aware with us. 67 degrees at noon, 69 at four, well above average for this time of year. And that warmth is due to being in that warm sector of this system. And then we'll wait on that cold front to move through overnight, seeing then those scattered showers and storms primarily in the afternoon and evening hours. It'll continue this evening. Temperatures will start to fall after midnight and continue to cool us down then through tomorrow. Take notice though, this is a look at the storm prediction outlook for this evening. Our stronger storms have moved a little bit more southward. So we are still remaining in that slight risk, but now the South Bend area is not in the enhanced risk. So little change here, but it's keeping us in that slight risk for this evening with our biggest concerns being still hail and wind. So I don't think a tornado is likely, but we will definitely keep our eyes on hail and wind chances and stay with you through the evening hours. As we go through the day tomorrow, this pushes through really quickly will be dry and very windy for your Thursday, mixing in a, a little bit of cloud cover. Friday, we could see some shower chances. I don't know how much mixing will happen, but we'll see some shower chances there as we wrap up the work week. So here's a look at the next couple of days. 69 degrees today. That's 61 tomorrow. That happens around midnight. We'll see those temperatures fall uh, throughout the overnight and throughout the day tomorrow but it's definitely going to be a breezy one. Check out these winds. We can have wing gusts upwards of 40 to 45 miles per hour tomorrow. So we may even get a few power outages possible out of this for your Thursday as well. Something to keep an eye on as then breezy conditions continue into Friday as we cool down your Easter weekend dry, but definitely on the cooler side with temperatures only in the 40s. Next week, we're talking the mid to upper 40s with a few rain chances.